Can we have a moment of silence for Dataverse calculated fields? Power Effects formula columns are finally here and Divya shows some things that you may not have known they could do. Welcome to PowerCat Live. My name is Phil Toppers from the PowerCat team, and today we're here with Divya Kamath from the Dataverse team. Hey, Divya. Hi, Phil. So you're here to talk about formula columns, which I am very excited about. Uh, I've got a, a long relationship with calculated columns in Dataverse. Um, for me, they've always been that friend that offers to take you to the airport and then arrives late so you missed your flights. But for those that don't know how excited they ought to be about formula columns, what are they? So formula columns are uh, computed calculated dataverse columns, similar to the calculated columns that exist in the SharePoint and SQL Server. A formula column doesn't store the data. Instead, it returns a, a value based on a power fix formula. Let me show you a demo, a practical application of formula in day-to-day business. So Divya, what does your business do? Uh, <laughs> it's a Contoso sales. <laughs> Contoso is, uh, Contoso has been featured here several times. It's a booming business. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a booming business. So um, I, from my base data, I first started with my understand what is my even business SLA. So I come up with an estimated sales order date based on my shipment order. My business rule is uh, whenever I place an order, I give up to 72 hours to, to reach to ship my order. So I have a formula that says based on um, estimated, uh, based on my order creation date, I add a plus three days in my formula, and then that becomes my estimated order date. And then I do a SLA calculation to make sure whether I'm meeting my my 72 hours or three days of my SLA, then I do a date function between my actual shipment arrival date with my estimated calculated date in my orders. And the third, parsing through my sales order comments that customers explicitly place uh, while, while placing the order, like they had, they had their sentiments, like, hey, I'm leaving the country in, in three days or four days, please ship it immediately. When you're entering these formulas, you get IntelliSense and all that to help you create them? Yes, yes. As I type, I get this IntelliSense that prompts me with the, the format of the formulas and I follow that. And if I incorrectly type in a syntax, there is a red squiggle and an inline guidance that tells me that I should go fix the formula. And we're seeing AI and GPT-3 come in a lot more to kind of help me use formulas. Is that available for me here too? Not immediately. Um, so we are planning to bring a smart code fix capabilities. GPT-3 Pros was going to give you the guidance, inline guidance to say, okay, your syntax is incorrect. Here is the recommendation that I, I provide. Those are the things that we are working on uh, down the pipeline. And this data is, even though it's all calculated, is accessible for Power Automate as well for Cloudflow? So I opened a Power Automate trigger that whenever the sales order uh, is important equals yes, row is created. When the calculated field becomes yes and the row is updated, immediately trigger out, uh, trigger a power automate to the sales order escalation team to expedite the shipping. And I think this is really a good demonstration, right? People ask like, you know, how is Dataverse different than other data storage, right? So talk a little bit about how this is working under the covers. See, un um, under the covers, you know, it, it is nothing but a plugin under the covers. So you have a sandbox compute. <laughs> it's a sand <laughs> it's powered by sandbox compute. So the calculations always happen on the on the server. Uh, you have a SQL layer that performs the calculation and then powered by the compute layer by the sandbox and together gives you the power to do this uh, runtime uh, heavy calculations that you're seeing. And what I think is interesting too is you mentioned that it's it's not saved, it's not persisted in the data, and yet we can trigger cloud flows and other things, and it really appears anywhere that we access this data. I think that's pretty amazing. Yeah, that's right. Uh, so, of course, uh, you know, as, as happy as I am, as happy as this makes me, uh, there must be limits. What am I not getting? So we are providing some sort of uh, guardrails, like you will not be able to create more than five or six nested queries or 1,000 characters whichever you hit mm -hmm. first. That's a lot. So that is yeah. a systematic limitation. We want to address localization. 
followed by and, and here um, does localization mean like the actual power effects like formula power effects, or what's localized yeah. okay the, the your, your syntax and all that the syntax be, yeah okay yeah and then um the other thing is um uh, the time zone like if you see in my demo i only said three days and not three three local time or three days oh, yeah. you know based on utc if local you notice time and that dataverse. Yeah, it's very yeah. Powerful. <laughs> yeah so i just said three days you know sometimes troublesome and exactly so if i'm trying to do this on my local time zone and I want to do my math, then bringing the local time zone is super important. Now, uh, the other friend that has often arrived late to take me to the airport is roll-up columns. Are we going to see roll-up columns uh, come along in the same way? Uh, so um, the the sequence of our work is first, we want to release uh, the, the 50 functions that we have today for Dataverse uh, capabilities along with the localization and time zone support as a first pack that we want to ship it, followed by uh, we want to take the calculated columns capabilities because they have some additional capabilities that we don't support in currently in, co in formula columns, such as handling yeah, currencies and precisions uh, and all yeah. that. So first we need okay. to match that parity. Uh, and then we want to bring roll-ups. It's going to be a, a different architecture to, to meet those uh, scaling needs. So the requirements have to be flushed out. And there's a lot of experience that uh, that we you know makers want to run this real time or near real time or, or more more number of rows. So we'll have to think about all of those. So if you've got a power effects expression that you want to be the 51st one that the team adds in, just leave it down in the comments below. Is that all right, Divya? Yes. All right. Decide what to build next. Put it down below. Divya, thanks so much for a building this feature. Thank thank you and for being here today. Thank you. Thank you for. Thanks for watching, everyone. Mm -hmm.